Hey guys, welcome to Days of Fundo, where if it ain't fun, we don't drive it. And today we're going to be talking VR. That's right. If you're just like me and you love racing, you're going to be wanting to get into VR. But if you're like me and you're a cheap bastard, you probably don't want to spend the money on it. So for the last couple of years, I've been wrecking my brain trying to figure out how to get these two things to work together so that I don't have to fork it out for a ridiculously priced buy. But today, today, I have the answer. I have managed to get this, this OnePlus uh, 5T in conjunction with this, a 20 buck Chinese headset running through a USB-C into my computer, or it could be just a normal USB, and it works pretty damn good. Like I'd say, good enough, good enough. Let's go check it out. Here we go, we're in the uh, AMG Mercedes, um, the Black Falcon version. I really love this vehicle, I think this sounds wicked. Um, as you can see, it looks really cool. Uh, I do hope that the FPS is up a little bit for me because it's been proving a little bit tough. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, I think we'll, we'll dive in. Yeah, it's still a, bit, a little bit jarring, I'll, I'll figure that out in time. No one, no one ever said that VR was easier. They just said it was cooler. Look at that. I can sit here and look at these all day. And this is absolutely free for you to do too. Uh, well, you know, free assuming you've got the kit. Uh, the, the bits and bobs to make it work. But ultimately it's absolutely achievable. It's taken me a long time to get here. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll put the full instructions. Uh, down in the description or something, or, or just ask, just comment and I'll tell you how to do it. Done that. Right, I'm just going to take it easy because I'm just going to try to show you what it might look like more in the trip, but in VR rather than actually trying to race. Because I'm still coping with being in VR full stop myself. I've had a little bit of experience in VR, you know, I've sort of played um, Oculus and Vive and other different ones but you know like lots of PC head stuff yeah look at that Whoop. the thing I think is um, this is absolutely where this is at really is the future of um, of VR is going to be in the handset you know like this is proof that the a lot of the capability is already there um, it's absolutely Absolutely playable, whether it's perfect yet, no. But is it playable? Yes. And if these little companies uh, like Trinus uh, and VR Ridge can come up with this sort of technology, um, I think we're getting a little bit shafted uh, by some of the bigger companies. But, you know. Like what I'm, what I'm using right now is, is free me on my phone and the PC, right? So it didn't cost me anything to set this up. Um, I've got 15 minutes of free play time. And it's a wicked. It's a wicked. Oh, the sound of this car is awesome. Wish I could put my headphones on right now, but I really need to be able to talk to you guys. And Know what I'm seeing and feeling. I was playing this just before, and um, I was just sort of having a having a cruise around, just having a look. And mate, I was having trouble driving on the wrong side of the road because I kept feeling like there was there could be oncoming cars. I'm on a racetrack that no one comes the other way ever. Not very often, anyway, unless you're in some dodgy little um, beginner game zone. But just the sensation, the immersion of the realism that I was feeling was enough to, to get me instinctively instinctively thinking, don't drive on the wrong side of the road, keep, keep your eyes ahead, keep your eyes on the road. It doesn't matter, look, I'll just crash into the wall, it won't matter. Oh, oh, sorry Dan, oh, I scratched up the AMG, oh no! We've got ambulances on, on call if we need them just behind there. I don't know why they're behind there, but they're behind. It's much good if they can't see me crash. 
detail on this car is really cool. This feels very similar to South Island in New Zealand. Um, South Island's the space, where I am right now, I'm in Invercargill, New Zealand, which is right at the bottom of the South Island. Um, and coming over this hill here, this looks almost exactly what it looks like as you're sort of coming into places like Tianao or Queenstown. You probably know about Queenstown uh, on the world uh, circuit there, tourist circuit, really popular tourist place. And this is this is very much what it looks like. Uh, the the oops, the Scottish people down here. Uh, the, Invercargill is actually a very very Scottish town, and I think. Um, they loved it because it looked like this. This is actually the Scottish Highlands, but it just looks and feels exactly like this. This five o'clock sun, you know, this golden hour vibe is exactly what it looks like. And you've got the mountains right there. So if you want to experience New Zealand, just jump in VR on this Triance headset. Um, and uh, well, just to clarify, this is actually a cardboard VR headset, right? So it's just nothing, it's just a piece of plastic. No big deal. I've got a um, OnePlus phone in there. And the OnePlus is definitely a pretty grunty phone, but you know, we're not talking bigger money. Cheaper than Oculus in it. Or Vive, Vive Pro. And it makes calls too. Yep, that's right. There's so much money I can smash up my Mercedes. Hey, yo. Hey, buddy. Good job. I live right in there. Yep. And uh, that is it. I'm going to take this off because it's bloody hot as hell. Uh, oh, I don't have my headphones on. Oh. That is hot! That is hot! Well there you have it! There is a bit of free VR for you! Um, so yeah, like I said, um, if you want to know more about that, just check out in the descriptions. Um, and uh, yeah, till next time. If it ain't fun, we don't drive it! Days of thunder!